My name is Sarah Harberson, and this is the Admissions Revolution. Today I'm going to be talking about what to do if you've been deferred from your early decision or early action college. If you've been deferred, it means that the college will take another look at your application in their regular decision applicant pool. Regular decision is going to be much more competitive, especially more competitive than the early decision pool, but you want to know what your options are. So if you find out mid-December or beginning of January that you were deferred from your early decision or early action school, you want to make sure that all your other applications are in. Most regular decision deadlines are right after you would hear from being deferred from your early decision or early action school. So you want to get a head start on these applications before you find out, and if not, this is going to be a good distraction for you to focus on some of those other applications and get them in as soon as possible. When a student gets deferred, there's usually two responses. Either the student wants that institution even more after being deferred, or they decide to look at some other schools more carefully and realize that there's another school that's more interesting and a better fit for them. But if that school that deferred you is still your very top choice or one of your top choices, here's what you need to do. You want to contact the admissions officer who read your application. If they are able to speak with you over the phone, that's ideal because they get to hear your voice. And you can ask very respectively, respectfully, is there anything I can do to improve my chances of getting admitted in regular decision? You can also let them know how much you love the institution and how passionate you are about the school and the program. But the next thing is going to be the secret. You want to write a letter to that admissions officer or to that admissions office and you want to talk about why you're still interested in their institution after being deferred. You want to be positive, you want to be passionate, you want it to be about a page. And it shouldn't just be a good letter. It should be the best letter that you've ever written. You want to pour your heart and soul into that letter so that when they read that letter, sometimes they'll read it out loud, you want them to say, we should admit this student. And here's a secret. In the body of the letter, preferably in the first paragraph, if you feel very strongly about that college and you would enroll at that college even though it's regular decision and you're not bound to enroll if you're admitted, you should put that in the first paragraph of your letter. You should write, if you admit me in regular decision, I will enroll. The other thing about being deferred is they're going to be looking very carefully at your senior year grades, that first semester of grades. So it's going to be really important for you to do well. If you do exceptionally well your senior year in your courses, that can be a huge reason for them to admit you. So try, try your hardest to shoot for the best grades that you can get. And in the end, understand that there are multiple perfect schools out there. There are multiple glass slipper schools out there for you. So don't be discouraged if you get deferred because you might just find another great school, another dream school for you. Get informed, get empowered, get in. This is the admissions revolution.